So I want to talk to you about the gray ghost and the fox body today in this video. But as usual, something happened to my footage. So the footage is going to start out pretty abrupt. Uh, basically, we got a new carburetor for the 65. As you can see right here in the pictures, super nice carburetor. Bought it off eBay. Only paid about 410 bucks, I think, for this thing. And it is perfect. This thing works great. Threw it on the car and it literally started up the very first try once we got the bowls filled. So really nice carburetor. I just wanted to share that with you guys. It is four corner idled. It's got a couple different things. The choke corn's been milled out of it. I do have all the schematics now downloaded for the car. So I have all of that stuff that got lost in the video footage. Uh, we're getting ready to put the new radiator in, get our fan set up on it and get ready to drive this car. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to the video. Most of this stuff is working and operational. We did get all of our uh, cables in here uh, to operate all the doors, and that works really good. But we had to, like I said, pull the motor out, so this thing just kind of sitting up in there right now. All the other wiring seems to be good on the car. Really no issues there. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and start this thing up. Now, for whatever reason, this camera does not pick up sound very well, especially from a car. So it's gonna sound like absolute garbage. But I do have another video on my phone that I'll post if it's too bad. All right. So let's go ahead and give this thing a couple pumps. See if it'll start up. All right, this thing is ice cold, by the way. I've not started it all day. Would you look at that? You got to love it. <laughs> oh man, I love this car so much. I love it. I mean, the mufflers are busted and everything else, but the car is actually very responsive. This car's always been responsive. So, we are so close to driving this thing. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, we have the shifter in the car. We're only missing one linkage. I don't know where that thing is, and no, that's not it over there on the seat. So we're missing the reverse linkage for a Hearst competition shifter. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out later at some point. Like I said, at some point, we are probably going to go to a T5. Uh, that's coming. I actually have the cable conversion up here so that we don't have to use the Z-bar anymore. And your Z bar is, is this, this bar right here. So down here, and that's what operates your, your factory clutch. So we're going to probably get away from that more than likely. Um, still have a bunch of new parts to put in the car. Like I said, uh, we're, we're trying our best to do this thing right. So I wanted to give you guys an update on this car. So uh, I will do a separate video on it. We'll actually get it out, we'll drive it, we'll talk about it. But um, So as most of you know, this is going to be a tribute car to my mom. Um, I don't know how I want to do it exactly. The red interior really is kind of messing me up because I wanted to do this thing ultra blue and silver. And I know you can still do it with red interior, but yeah, I don't really know about, I don't really want to do that. That's not, not my thing. And I could put the red interior in the red car, but I just, I just want to leave it. I, I think this car just needs, to, this is actually a very solid car guys. I know it doesn't look like it. The doors on this thing though, check this out. Look. Watch. The doors on this thing shut just flawlessly. This thing shut so good. The car is very, very, very tight. No rust, none of that stuff. So I just really don't want to pull it all apart. It just really needs a paint job and cleaned up. So we are going to carburate this car, guys. So today's video is sponsored by carburetors, I guess. But yes, we are going to carburate this car. And why am I doing that? I think most people are scared of carburetors because they don't either understand them or know how to tune them or just don't know anything about them at all. Uh, once you learn carburetors and once you get like a really good one, they're actually really, really sweet. You, see, you, you saw how quick this car started up, right? And right now it's in the 50s uh, out here. So I love a carburetor. Uh, that's what this intake is right here. Uh, we're going to carburate this car 
and I will be purchasing another one of these carbs because I really like it. And for the money, oh man, you can't beat this right here for the money. The choke horn's been milled out of it. Like it's just, it's nice. It's a nice carburetor and that's more than likely what we're gonna put on this car. And we're gonna do it budget, right? Uh, I wanna show the world, the guys that don't know, that you can carburet your car very reasonably. Now, basically, we're just gonna gut the fuel tank in this thing, the, the fuel pump assembly. We're just gonna gut it. We're not gonna cut any wires or anything like that, but we're gonna gut it and we're just gonna run a hose down to the bottom of the tank and then we're gonna have an inline filter, pump, all that stuff. And it's gonna be a rubber hose that goes up to the uh, intake and to the carburetor. And that's that. We're gonna leave the factory distributor in there with the A9L or A9P in this car. We're gonna leave it in there. I promise you guys, it works. Trust me, we've done it many, many times. Uh, you can lock the distributor out, which is what a lot of people do. Go ahead and power time the car if you want to. You run into some hard start problems if you do that whenever it gets hot, but other than that, yeah. So that's the plan for this because I wanna bring something different to the channel. Originally, that was the plan with this car like a while back. Like we, we thought the Grey Ghost was going to be a ways out. So this was going to be the carbureted car for the channel. So now that we've got this car going and almost ready to drive, we're gonna be doing another carbureted car. But it's good, it's good. We have a turbo car, we have a supercharged car, and now we're gonna have two carbureted cars. Now. I know everybody's saying go sniper, go sniper. I know the comments are coming. We will at some point, but those things are pretty expensive and, you know, I don't know. This carburetor is pretty cheap. We can literally go ahead, buy one of these carburetors, put it on the car. It's only like a $400 carburetor, guys. It's not that big of a deal. And it's always good to have an extra one. So um, we're going to leave this thing in AOD, though, just so you guys know. I have no intentions anytime soon of swapping this thing out to anything else. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I do like a good running AOD and it'd be something different for the channel. Carbureted AOD car. I know it's been kind of slow lately. I do apologize, but uh, you know, life, right? Uh, so I just thought I'd come out here, give you a little bit of a recap on, on these cars and what we got going on. This thing's a few months out more than likely. Probably a couple months out before we start on it. The 65 though is, I'm hoping about a week to two weeks at the most away from being like able to drive it. Yes, guys, drive the 65. Ah, we're probably gonna have to do a makeshift fuel tank, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, we'll come up with something. All right, stay tuned guys. The content is going to ramp up here pretty soon. As soon as I can get some days off where I can come out here, film, do some stuff for you guys. Before we go though, I have a really cool clip that I wanna show you of my buddy Ray's truck. The guys with an Ecamm and GT40 heads. It is just not something that you're used to seeing. Sorry the footage was at nighttime, but I think you kinda get the gist of it. This truck looks bone stock but it's got an Ecamm and GT40 head. So huge shout out to Ray. He killed it on that build. All right, I'll show you guys the video. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. And as always, thanks for watching. What year is this? 95. So 95, 302. Check it out. Now that is something you do not hear every day. Oh yeah, it'll come on down in a minute. I love it. I love it. So I tell you what, let, we'll do we'll do a video on this truck one day. We'll get it out like maybe one day when he can get it over here, and uh, we'll show you the motor and all that type stuff. Uh, this thing is so cool, man. We had an E three hundred three cam laying around what over in the shed one day, yeah. and uh, and gave it to Ray, and Ray said, "I'm gonna put it in the truck." Well, I'll be damned. He did. It sounds awesome. I love it, and he says it runs good. So we'll go for a ride in it maybe in the next video, something like that. All right, guys. I'll probably just uh, throw this in the end of my video. I'll catch you in the next one.